from the Sands Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube. Covering AWS reInvent 2015. Now your host, John Furrier. Okay, welcome back everyone. You watching The Cube, SiliconANGLE's flagship program, where we go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. We are live in Las Vegas for Amazon reInvent, Amazon Web Services reInvent, big conference, bigger than ever, always growing, kicking ass, taking names. It's a pretty badass show and it's super exciting because Amazon is constantly innovating. And theCUBE, we love showcasing the hot startups. Al Bergio, the CEO and founder of IIX and Console, and Paul Gamp, the CTO of um, IIX and Console, Console Inc., Console Connect, we just did your event. Welcome, welcome back to theCUBE. Thank, Thank you for having us. So we did a live broadcast at your event, Console Connect, uh, in San Francisco. Small, intimate event, thought leaders. At the same time, Apple had their big event. You guys created more buzz than I've ever seen of a small show because you guys are doing some pretty compelling things at the infrastructure level. Very disruptive, I would say, that enables really secure internet. And, and I want you to explain to the folks Alf, why the company was formed and why it's doing so well, because there's a nuance here. The world is evil. <laughs> <laughs> DDoS attacks, security. So talk about what you guys have done and what it means. Well, um, I mean, clearly we're seeing enterprise movement to the cloud and we sort of had um, early visibility into that many years ago. Uh, as a result of that, we basically looked at other parallel things that were occurring, you know, growth in issues like DDoS attack, network security and so forth, and recognized that as the enterprise was more, more and more moving to the cloud and directly connecting to uh, AWS and other cloud infrastructure, SaaS providers and so forth, that there would be the need for a simpler way to directly connect to these business critical applications. And so with console, we really focused on creating a platform that would extract all of that complexity for the enterprise, for cloud companies, for SaaS companies, um, to really make it simple for them to directly connect. And, and, and that's essentially what uh, we've accomplished with console. So Paul, I want to get your take on this because there's a little, another technical angle. One, the internet's been great. It's lowered the cost of barriers to connect countries, cities, states, worlds. But it's, it's a, there's an unsecured internet that's out there that companies have cho chosen to lower their costs to use the backhaul of the internet that's caused a lot of problems. Yeah. Explain that problem and what you guys do. Yeah, so I think what we've seen is that the mission critical applications have gone from on-premise to on-cloud. Here we are at AWS reInvent, there's no further proof of the success of moving applications onto the cloud environment. But it has exposed that internet, the, that vehicle that was never designed for mission critical purposes to traffic that it was never intended to do. So what we've done with console and with IIX is provide a direct and secure path from the enterprise to the SaaS application, no matter where it's hosted. So the yeah. thing that I like about this business is that the innovation is happening up and down the stack. Yeah. Right, we all agree, we talked about this at your event. If I look out amongst the show floor here, I see Juniper, I see New Relic, I see Cisco, I see Red Hat, GitHub, Intel, and what's really going on is a bunch of other companies, Dropbox, it's an API services business. So people are exposing their cloud-based services or SaaS to each other in an unsecure backbone called the internet. Al, demystify what that means, because a lot of people say, oh, the internet's completely secure, I'm just going to have end-to-end -end encryption, I'm good. What's the real deal with web services? Is, there, is that a reality? Is the web secure? And what do you guys say to that? So, I mean, it's a public fact that on average, between the point of origination of data and the destination on data, over the internet, there's over four organizations between that path. Um, and, and that path and direction can vary uh, from time to time. Um, to really have a consistent user experience that's private and secure, you need to be directly connected. However, historically, it's been complicated to, to achieve that. Total cost of ownership is high and so forth. We basically focus on creating the technology that would make that simple to really drive adoption and to su support cloud enablement um, with the console social platform. The, 
you know, I, I think the, the, the title reInvent is very fitting, not just for the event, but for many of the organizations that you've mentioned. Um, there's this evolution that's happened, not just with the internet, but with direct connect or direct interconnection. And it, it, it's frankly needed. Um, businesses want that reliability, they want that security, and they want simplicity. They don't want yeah. complicated solutions. So I'm going to throw back memory lane back, yeah. go back 10, 15 years ago. Oh, B2B exchanges. That was a company to company relationship. That wasn't so much a product issue. Meaning, if Paul and I are, hey, let's work together, our companies to do a deal. Yeah, we'll exchange data on POs and sales or some, some data exchange happens. Okay, great, secure that up. But now, what if now today, we're exchanging product services? Completely different, there's no company relationship. The customer uses both of our products in one solution. That's right. That's an integrated stack. Is that the phenomenon why you guys are growing so fast? It, or is it something else? No, there's, there's, a, there's not really one use case. There's a, a, you know, a, quite a number of them. Um, but there is that. I mean, we, we have the benefit of, of this many-to-many uh, -many ecosystem platform that we created. It's a non-discriminatory ecosystem platform. It allows any organization to be a member of it. And, and um, for it to directly connect to what's important to its business and other organizations that see them as important to directly connect to them. And so, um, it, it, we are a product, but we're, we're, it's all really about the ecosystem at the end of the day and, and in helping empower innovation and supporting our customers and our partners uh, take advantage of the platform. All right, so what are you guys doing here? Okay, we've got a couple minutes left. We're going to talk again on Thursday. You guys are yeah. going to come back. Um, but what's the big deal? You guys in the ecosystem partner? Is it like good sales opportunity? Is it biz dev? Is it What's going on? Why are you guys here? Are you guys talking? Yeah, we're, uh, we're a titanium sponsor uh, at uh, AWS reInvent. Um, we're also speaking, uh, Paul and I, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, have a 60 minute session on how we've simplified uh, Direct Connect. Um, and as well, you know, there, there is um, a great uh, AWS ecosystem uh, that we're here to, to uh, put, put our best foot forward in supporting. Yeah. And so it's a great opportunity. It's, a, it's a, an amazing event phenomenal attendance and, and we're really happy to be here. So Paul, I got to put you on the spot, okay? Yep. I've been hearing in the hallways that there's been kind of a love fest between Amazon and you guys, company. Why? I mean, is it technical? Is it business model, all the above? Explain that. Yeah, I think what you see with the success of Amazon is the fact that mission critical applications are moving to the cloud. And Amazon, despite their size and capacity, need partners to help bring the enterprise onto that platform. Amazon Direct Connect, they productize this connect, the concept of getting direct connectivity, and they need partners like Console to make that easy, and we're probably one of the easiest ways to do that. We've also, uh, the Cloud Router project, our open source project, is now available on the Amazon Marketplace, so we're, you know, there's a lot we do So if you had to explain to someone in the attendee hall here, hey, what do you guys do, why are you relevant, what would you say to them? Uh, I think we're relevant because we provide direct connectivity to SaaS application providers, cloud providers, in a manner that's never been done before. Versus what alternative? Exactly. Really no, yeah. <laughs> and what, what's yeah. wrong with that? It's complicated. I mean, yeah. the reality is nobody's done a fully automated solution. Yeah. Um, it requires, um, the best thing you would see out there is a virtual, virtualization of a connection, but it still requires both parties that connection to deal with that configuration complexity to Essentially, right, so to have the packets move. So moved. you can say, you can say, maybe I'll pretend my marketing hat. Plumbing's hard, yeah. exactly. and you do it easy. You don't have to be okay. become a global network operator by using console. All right. Console. So, what booth are you guys at, and then uh, how do people find out what's going on with the sessions? So we're uh, booth uh, 1024, um, and our session. You know, the, the if you had the AWS app, you could look us up, console or by uh, us by name, and I hope to see uh, many of the uh, members watching at our event, uh, at our session tomorrow. All right, so I got to get a pound of flesh from you guys. I want you both to answer this question, to wrap up the segment. So Paul, we'll start with you. What's so big about this year with Amazon? Is it a tipping point? What's going on this year for the folks watching who couldn't make it down here? What is going on here? What is happening right now in this moment of history? Yeah, for me, I think it's that uh, internet of things. The fact that telemetry, devices, automation, everything's getting onto the internet. And for a company like ours, that's critically important because a lot of the data that you're now getting from those devices is super sensitive and you do not want that traveling over the public internet. So that's what I think is happening here. Al, what's yeah, your take? I know, I agree. I mean, 
the Internet of Things, I, I think in many respects is just the beginning, but we're starting to see that at this event. Um, we're starting to see the growing, uh, the growth even with uh, direct interconnection. Um, many, many you know, organizations, more organizations are starting to ask for that. So there's a, a, a number of things, but I, I would agree with Paul. It, the Internet of Things is uh, a big driver. Okay, thanks so much. Guys, engage with us. Engage with our hosts during AWS reInvent and all of our shows on crowdchat.net and the URL for this chat is crowdchat.net slash reInvent. Join the conversation, keep watching theCUBE. We've got wall-to-wall -wall coverage coming right back all day tomorrow, all day Thursday. Console, check it out, IIX, remember that company? You guys are going to be pretty successful. I think you guys have a really great business model. It's hard to do what you do, you make it easier, congratulations, good luck to you guys. We'll be right back with more after this short break. theCUBE, live here in Amazon reInvent. I'm John Furrier, we'll be right back with more after this short break.